Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we will learn all about Angular directives. What are Angular directives? What are the different types of directives? How do we use them with some real-time practical hands-on examples? After this tutorial, you will be able to answer and know complete details about directives and you will be good to start using it in your Angular application. Let's get started. My name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I bring knowledge on various modern front-end engineering technologies as well as back-end. I'm here to share my knowledge with you and also to learn from you all. So if you have any doubts or queries during the course of this tutorial series, please drop them in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I'm trying to put together this tutorial series. So if you have not checked out the series yet, please do so. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support me by liking this video and also subscribing to my channel. So far, we have covered all these tutorials in the series. We have covered around 10 tutorials, nine tutorials, sorry. Um, and today we are going to cover about Angular directives. So let's get started. Uh, what are Angular directives? So Angular directives are a are important piece or important feature of Angular where it's necessary to build your Angular application. There are different types of directives like component directives, structural directives, and there is attribute directives. So if you see, you cannot work without directives in Angular application because like I said, there are three types of directives. First is component directive, the, the second is structural directive, and third is attribute directive. So like I said, every Angular application must have at least one component. And by default, every Angular application has a component called app component, right? So we can also say that no Angular application is complete without a directive, right? Now, component directives have their own templates. We have seen that when we covered that component tutorial in detail, we have seen how to use template URL or template in the component class. Just to do a quick recap, if you go to your app component.ts, you will see the selector, you'll see template URL, you can see style URL. So a component is also a type of directive, okay? And we can also specify the template. Either you can just use template or you can use template URL. Whichever you use is fine. The idea is this directive will have its own template. It will have its own style. That's the important piece. Then we can also attach events to the component directives. Like for example, in the, in the HTML, we can have, let's say, um, you want to define a button let's do that um, so this is how you can define a event right and say so this is a button right so this is how you can define a simple button that will get uh, displayed and you can implement this method in your component you can just right and then you can just, uh, for now, I'm just doing a console log. It's a good practice to use single quotes since I have enabled that linting, right? Now let's fire this by starting ng serve. And you will see that when you click on the button, you will see a console log. That's straightforward. Now, that is all about component directive. A best way also, if you want to learn, please check out the tutorial on components that we have covered previously. That will give you complete details about the component, uh, what components are, how to generate components, how to use them. Now, the next one is structural directives. This is very, very important uh, because these are used to change the structure of it, right? So I am going to make some notes for you again. I do that um, in every tutorial for you. So let me do that here. Let me close all of this. So, all right. So Angular directives, we have three types of directives. 
component structural and attribute component directive is a direct type of directive it has its own template no every angular application must have at least one directive or we can say component one component right or one component directive now let's talk a little bit ab and i will also mention it here that please refer to components tutorial to learn in depth about components so that if you see here we have covered a lot of beautiful um, things about angular components we have learned so many things about it so please make sure you go through that tutorial number that's number nine tutorial number nine and that will help you all right so structural directives so these are very very important because they are these directives alter the st structure structure of the template or the view right importantly we'll use ng4 ng if and ng switch these are the three main types of structural directives now ng4 if you relate to it um, you i'm sure you would have used for loop in any other programming language right uh, javascript java or any any language uh, the idea is same right which is you iterate iterate over a set of data and do perform some operations right so similarly we will do the same um, in using ng4 right and using ng if again um, we can do a conditional based check expression checks right so this is again similar to uh, if else conditions that um, you would have written in any other language any other language now ng switch same same case like you would have used in any programming languages you would have used switch and case statements uh, to evaluate um, evaluate some expressions and then based on the condition output uh, true or false uh, we will see output see corresponding output right all right so that being said how do you distinguish between the structural directives so one of the most important things that you should know about structural directives is they will always start with asterisk symbol right they will always start with asterisk symbol now if you see the code it will always start with asterisk symbol so this means they are structural directives or built-in directives right uh, you can see that so to use ng4 we'll say to use ng4 we'll say ng4 ng if ng switch so this is how we write and declare the structural directives i'll just show you a simple example and then so don't worry um, we are going to cover all of this they have a separate tutorial coming up for each uh, in the next that is tutorial number 11 12 and 13 will cover ng4 if and switch in detail but just to give you a quick example um, how do you how do you use them let's do a quick example hands on so let's open app component and here i'm going to just quickly throw in a uh, let's throw in a div for now and ng if equal to expression right so here i'm saying show message if this is true then show showing this message from if true statement right so if you see the output now you would see that okay so we don't see it okay so what i'm so it says uh, occurs in the template because show message is not defined so let's go to our component and we'll put it here and i'll put it to false okay so now see it has successfully compiled now you open you don't see it the message I'm going to make it true. So showing this message from if true statement, right? I made it true. And in the template, it is taking a structural directive called ng if. And if this message expression is true, 
then show this right so there are a lot of combinations that you can do uh, for example in the in the ng if we can also define else statement uh, using template variables uh, we'll learn about that in next tutorial that's covered in tutorial 12 that is the next tutorial so stay tuned for that so yeah so coming back to so structural directives there are three types ng4 ng if ng switch you can use them to change the structure if you see here based on this it's changing the elements in the screen you can show this message you can hide this message based on a condition right so that is called as structural directives similarly we will learn how to use ng4 if and switch in detail there are a lot of combinations that you can do with for loop um, and you can also do it with switch statements we'll cover it in next uh, tutorial where i am dedicating completely for that let me also little bit talk about attribute directives now attribute directives are so we have seen component directives are nothing but they are class right this is like a class of its own component it's a class of its own whereas structural directives changes the structure right or elements in the template attribute directives we pass them along with the element so there are two mainly there are mainly two uh, attribute directives that we use attribute directives one is ng class and the other is ng style again we'll learn them in detail but for now let me show you an example of how to use them right so again i'll go to my app component for this now let's say we want to add some uh, style right so we can always say ng style equal to so here i'm dynamically passing so here let me say ng style let's say color right i can make it red right so there isn't seems to be an error okay okay let, sorry just give me a minute let me fix this query real quick okay and then okay so now i'm giving ng style and i've given color as red so see now this has become red color right so this is nothing but an attribute uh, directive which is ng style similarly we can make a dynamic value also you don't want this here no problem just say color name and let's grab it here put it here say green right so now i've given color name as a variable which is green now i'm using that here in the expression which is inside this uh, bracket now you see the message is green right so this is how uh, uh, structural directives work uh, sorry attribute directives work but again these are covered in tutorial number 14 so that's going to come up we are in tutorial number 10 so this is to we'll cover all of this in detail um, so don't worry if you don't understand just this was only about the concepts uh, so this was only about overview and concepts understanding right uh, we'll do all of the practical hands-on in the next uh, tutorial when i'm covering ng4 starting with ng4 all right so that brings us to uh, the overview of directives so there are typical uh, three types of directives component directives structural directives and attribute directives component directives we have seen in component tutorial every application must have at least one component you can generate any number of components that we want structural directives are something which will update the structure of the view there are three types of structural directives ng4 ng if and ng switch we also have attribute directives ng style and ng class right so these are the attributes which are used to basically change the styling property to identify structural directives we'll use asterisk symbol right so that's what we made in the notes here just go through this let me know if you want this uh, change the color using ng style that's what we did in example now 
all right so this is the notes that we had go through this notes go through the tutorial um, in the next uh, upcoming tutorial um, so yeah this is uh, i forgot to add one more thing so this is a bonus component i will tell you but again this is for advanced thing don't take it to heart yet we will cover it uh, there we can also generate custom direct we can generate custom directives so this is like adding more power and extending our ex application using custom directives right um, we can we can generate using ng generate command uh, directive and followed by directive name uh, like i said do not go into the details now on this because this requires a topic and a separate tutorial on its own it's little um, advanced concept for now i want you to start with tutorial angular directives and understand these three first that is component directive structural and attribute custom directive we will do it later in the tutorials where we cover full fledged uh, dedicated episodes for it all right so that being said uh, in the next tutorial we'll cover about ng if else else and then and then finally we will cover about uh, ng for ng switch so stay tuned for that if you haven't checked out the previous episodes please do so if you like this video please give a thumbs up like this video share it also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging thank you so much see you in the next episode where we will cover ng if and else and then statement thank you so much bye bye